Hey guys, so I wasn't gonna do this, but I am now because you know a lot of you always ask about my makeup So I'm just gonna do a talk through get ready with me. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too serious I'm just gonna show you guys how I get my signature FXR looks before we get started you guys be sure to subscribe to our channel comment down below Let me know if you like this style of video give this video a big thumbs up <laughs> And last but not least, share this with all of your friends and your loved ones. Oh, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. So anyway, you guys, we're just doing a talk through Get Ready With Me. I've missed you guys though. I think we should do things like this. It was suggested to me by someone very special to me so that's what's about to happen i've already done some color correcting because i wasn't finna do this i said to myself you know what it's not gonna kill me to do this i might as well just handle this and do something fun for you all i'm just gonna take my foundations now lately i've been mixing nars the all day luminous weightless foundation and then i've been mixing revlon color stay now both of these give me a pretty dewy look which i'm fine with but i ran out of primer hashtag struggle nigeria so I don't really know how to solve that issue, but here's the foundation I'm using. Man's trying to get Lancome. I use Lancome and my shade these days is 450. I didn't even know that was a perfect match for me, but I don't have any right now. So I've just been managing my Revlon, which is not a bad foundation. It has a really nice finish. I feel like it's a bit too much coverage. I like things that are a bit lighter on my face. So I'm just gonna, ooh, that was a lot. Oh, snap. But I'm just putting this on my hand, guys. This is actually like my go-to foundation. It's one of my everyday foundations, but I prefer long comb because it's really, really lightweight. So I'm gonna add this NARS like four pumps because I'm going for more coverage today. Um, that was like four and a half pumps, guys. But it's really... Ew! What did I just drop, Sway? Guys, what just fell? <gasps> Wait. I think it was my brush, you guys. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. Guys, look, I need to use a different brush now because this brush just fell on my dusty, nasty floor. Hold on a second. So, I'm back with my other Kabuki brush that I don't like as much, but we're just gonna have to manage it like that. I'm just gonna spray my setting spray on my foundation. I know that's probably a little weird, but for me, since I don't have primer, this helps my foundation to last a lot longer. So I'm just going to gently apply it in patting motions. Now this brush used to be my favorite brush, but it's not dense enough. I feel like the product moves around too much when I'm applying it. The finish is still pretty nice, but it could be better. What I really need to do, guys, instead of struggling in life is just learn how to use a beauty blender because that'll get me the finish I'm looking for, I think. I'm gonna be 100, I'm not really good at it. The beauty blender is just a huge struggle object for me. If you guys struggle with the beauty blender, can you let me know down below? And do you have any tips for me? Because I'm not good at it at all. We're still prepping this in. Now I don't rub because I'm not trying to move the product around. Essentially, I'm almost treating this like a beauty blender because I'm gently patting in the product. Sometimes I get impatient, but I'm trying to take my time. This looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go for like half a pump more of the NARS just for a bit more coverage. But I just really feel like Lancome and NARS, like I said, would be the combination of life. And if you guys know anything about Lancome and NARS mixing, let me know. Is there anybody that knows what 450 is in the UK conversion? Because I don't know. That's the only reason why I haven't purchased my Lancome shade because I don't know what I am in the United Kingdom. Okay, foundation is on. Let me find my concealer. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my concealers that I've been using. Have you guys heard about this Tarte scandal? I was like low-key contemplating getting that Shape Tape concealer, but that was like, never mind. It looks like I'm not represented by your brand. It's not by force. What is the essence of, oh, you need to include me instead. Why don't we just decide to not use any products from their line? If they're feeling it in their pocket that way, they're actually going to understand the urgency of being inclusive. But we're like, oh, this brand doesn't have my shade. And then a lot of us still go out and support them. Why? It's not necessary. I'm just using my NC. Yeah, this is NC45. My undertones are kind of odd. I've not been able to match them ever in my life. They're somehow golden and red at the same time, but not quite neutral. You know, I'll make sure the thumbnail's real sexy or whatever, so you guys feel ginger to click on the video. And if you like the thumbnail, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Should 
Just gonna apply my lighter concealer. I usually use NC42. I like to look kind of yellow. So guys, look, I'm gonna be 100. My brushes are mad dirty, like, don't judge me. And you shouldn't be like, this is not healthy. Ideally, you should wash your brushes after every use or clean them with some sort of disinfectant or something that disinfects rather. Oh, um, so guys, there's probably music in this video. If you really want to know what the music is, y'all can check the description box. Like, you guys always be asking me, girl, what music is that? And I'm like, y'all, I put everything in the description box. Please look at it, please. No shade. It's just like frustrating sometimes. I literally give you all the details in there and I feel like people be asking me the same questions. I understand that it's not necessarily intuitive or second nature, but the purpose of the description box is to check the information in the video, of course, you know? So I just feel like generally as a tip to all of you, if you're watching a YouTube video, check the description box first. So guys, I'm really in need of baby wipes right about now. I'm just gonna quickly go grab them and then I'll be right back. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm back. <laughs> um, just wiping my hands with my baby wipes so I don't get makeup on my all white interior or anywhere else for that matter. We're gonna do eyebrows. My pencil's not sharpened. Let's see if I can sharpen it. Woo, okay, so eyebrows. You guys are always asking me for eyebrow tutorials. We might do an in-depth one and I might kind of just quickly skip through this for the sake of time. I actually learned this technique from Jide of Saint Olaf. I love him so much, you guys. He's actually my favorite makeup artist. I can't think of anybody else who's before him. If you guys haven't heard of him, then check out his page. I'm gonna put his handle up here and I'm also going to put his info in the description box. But I learned this whole technique of doing eyebrows after foundation from him. If you check out his YouTube channel, check out his page, let him know that I sent you. <laughs> Just lining my brows. I like to use something very close to my skin tone. Actually, I could use a bit of a lighter color today since I'm doing eye makeup. Guys, look, trying to talk to you all and do this is not necessarily super easy. Okay, I think we fixed it. Now let's go back in and clean up the line again. I'm going in with a little bit of a lighter shade today, my NC45. And now I'm gonna go in with a dark shade to go above. Just clean up the top because I don't like to put light shade above my brow at this point. So that was quite a bit of pressure, you guys, but we managed to succeed, whatever. So I'm just going to blend that in gently. So my eyebrows are naturally very bushy, so I just kind of weave them that way. I don't intend to pluck them because recently I got my makeup done. My eyebrows were razored a bit too thin. I'm just letting them grow back out because we're team over bushy brows, bro. Team caterpillar brows, team. My brows, you can see them from outer space. <laughs> I'm going in with my Kanto. I like to use this stick foundation from Black Opal. It's black walnut. It's really dark for me, but um, the shape, the definition, all of that ish. I'm about it, I'm about the light. Now I'm just going to apply my contour to my nose. So let's talk about something interesting. Someone asked me to talk about modeling in Nigeria. Guys, look, first of all, I'm not a model. Let's just get that out of the way. We thank God for beauty, but I'm not a model. I am a composer and a violinist. I actually graduated from university with a degree in composition and violin performance. Graduated summa cum laude. I was pretty much at the top of my class. Only got three Bs in my entire college career out of like 120 something A's. So yeah, I was flexing. That's what I do. I'm a musician. Got into one of the best master's programs in the world for composition. I ended up getting a full ride to undergrad because of composition. So that's really the thing I love most to write music, right? And it's the thing I'm best at. I also produce and I edit videos. I edit videos for people from time to time. So I have a client playlist actually, so you can watch that if you're interested in inquiring about my video editing services. But I don't know that I'm really available right now to edit videos. If you guys are interested, you can hit me an email. Oh, also have a bag line. Just couture, yes. Those bags are lit. If you haven't seen them, I don't know what you're doing. These are the things I actually do, guys. I'm not a model. Occasional muse. There's only one photographer that really takes my pictures often, Prince Mason. Otherwise, I don't really let people do that. <laughs> but I always enjoy whenever we collaborate. So I've blended everything in. The only thing, I love these foundations. I just 
wish the combo didn't crease so easily. Now, the reason why I don't really care for this brush anymore, even though it's not a bad brush, is because I'm having to work pretty hard to blend out these harsh lines. With my other brush, it's like, doo -doo. okay, blended. <laughs> okay, yes, it's time to get some setting powder. Then we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow because today I'm actually doing eyeshadow. Got this, such a. So the one thing I like about the Sacha is that it sets makeup well. I just don't like the color. That's really my only issue, guys. So I'm just gonna let all of this kind of set. I'll dust it off while we're doing the eye makeup so it's not too heavy, but I think this is fine for now. Okay, so we're back. Now, the first things first, I'm probably, well, no, I'm definitely going to go in with my Blunt by MAC. I'm gonna go in with a bit of a lighter brown just to help this blend better. Wow, the color payoff is not really gingering me. Is that normal? Let's try the other brush. This is going to work. I'm a very determined young woman and I need it to work the way I need it to work. So it's going to work. That one I can guarantee. <laughs> it's just a matter of how we get it to work that's the issue here. Get says you get guys look whenever I try and do a Nigerian accent I just feel like I'm forming because I wasn't born here <laughs> I was born in this state so I just feel like look it's not for me let me just respect myself okay okay girl I see you yes deposit that color baby yeah let's just put that in the middle Look, I don't even know what I'm doing, but this looks hot, so... This is really lovely, guys. I did not expect this. Nicola just stepped in. I don't want to call her in Q or Nick. For the record, we're not Evo. So, guys, here's my sister. Oh, no. So, as you can see, she's super cute. She looks better than me right now because she's all done up. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna use one last color you got. Anyway, I'm gonna use one last color. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> this one right here. Is that your final ad Is that your final color? Yes. You're putting in the center? Yeah. <laughs> Ouch! So, one misspoken word and she's abandoning me, but it's fine. Back to our other palette, we're going to now just blend out the top a little bit. So we're gonna go in with Kenya from the Nubian 2 palette. Okay, I think we're finished with the eyes. So now I can go in and dust all of this such a off my face. Okay, so my brush was actually right here the whole time. But I'm just going to quickly tap this into my long comb powder and just gently blend. Now I'm going to go in with my Kabuki brush again and just further blend out any harsh lines. So now I'm going to Kanto. Just gonna go in there with my blunt. I don't think that it's wise to use blunt by itself because it's really a blush and it's quite red in tone. That's why I use it with black walnut because Together, they make the perfect contour, but alone, I don't think that either of them is really favorable on me. I'm just gonna go back into my blunt, gently contour my nose. I don't like to do too much, but I do like to be bubba -bu beat. Now I'm going to highlight. I'm just gonna apply my favorite highlighter. It's Superb by MAC. And the primary reason why I love it, aside from the fact that it's really like pearlescent, is because of the name. I'm a huge proponent of using positive things, like positively named things on my body and my life. I like to give things positive names, you feel me? 
Well, I know that I'm superb, so we ain't using anything else. I'm just going to apply my highlight to my nose now. I do it in a bit of a different kind of way. I apply it to only like two spots on my nose. I'm pretty sure I also learned this from G-Day. He applies to here on me. Of course, he does it differently for everyone, but I've found that this flatters me the best. And I use um, another highlight over top of this. It's a grainy one because I like to glitter. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of the very grainy highlight. And I'll tone this down, sort of, but not really. I'll blend it is what I'm really trying to say, but I'm not going to really tone it. I forgot my forehead, guys. And the forehead is really important. We're really shiny. I'm going to blend this so that it looks more seamless. Thumbs up for fluffy brushes from Bare Minerals. And also, be sure that you let me know if you like this look and if you want more of these types of videos. I'm going to work on releasing the pictures step by step so that when the video is ready, you guys can just see me in all my African Barbie glory or whatever. Now I'm going to go in with my Kabuki brush again, if I see any harsh lines. I'm also going to drag slightly just to ensure that everything is blending into one another. Now I'm going to go back in, redefine my contour. Okay, perfect. And now I'm going to go in and use this. Okay, we're pretty much good. I'm feeling my makeup. I'm now going to spray my Fix Plus because I'm feeling this, guys. What kind of finishing spray do you all use? Do you use just setting spray? Do you use Fix Plus? Do you use any other awesome finishing spray? Y'all should let me know because I'm trying to increase my makeup level. Brush my brows a bit, brush them into place. After this dries, I might set this again. Because for me, I found that setting twice is super helpful and makes my makeup last longer, especially since I'm not priming. And I haven't primed in a while. So guys, it's kind of toasty. I need to turn on my AC. Hopefully this doesn't make my audio rough. But ooh, do you guys like that sound? Do you guys hear how such that sounds? Like it sounds so posh. Okay, so as you can see, the makeup is really melted into my face and I'm going to set one more time. So guys, I actually have to really hurry because we have to take pictures. I'm glad I was able to film this for you all. This makeup look came out a lot better than I expected. And thanks to my loved one for recommending I do this. That was a great idea. We need to do more of this because I know you guys want to see my makeup and I feel like the best time for me to show you my makeup is as I'm getting ready. So let's try and make this a thing. Let's finish this off with some eyeliner. I did feel the need to get another liner, not because I don't love that one, but because it's not so much in there. So it's difficult to apply. I'm not going to talk because I want to F this up. <laughs> Okay, let me use the other one to polish off the ending and go over this one a bit. Better. So I don't normally line my under eye, but I think just to complete this look, we need to line just the outer corner. That's actually pretty much finished. Now mascara. Wherever that is. Where's my mascara, yo? I found my mascara. I'm going to apply that now, just quickly. And now I'm gonna apply my lashes off camera. I'm gonna go to my bathroom to do that because I'm not good at that. So I don't wanna poke my eye out. So bottom lashes, always gotta get love. I've applied my um, lashes off camera and I took off my shirt and I'm wearing my robe because now we're going to actually take down my hair it's easier to do this in the robe because then I can actually change into my outfit much easier or much more easily. Chai. <laughs> my hair is not 100% dry, but it's fine. It's looking like I'm definitely going to have to use a blow dryer on this a little bit. I have not used heat on my hair in years, so I'm going to use the blow dryer on the cool setting. So you guys, I finished blasting my hair with the Cool Shop. Now I'm just gonna pick it out and just like throw it out. Done my hair off camera. I'm just gonna let it like do its thing however it wants to expand 
is up to it. Um, now it's time to select our lip color and I want to do a nude. So guys, it is at this point that my memory card got full, so I had to quickly just finish up my makeup and go out to take pictures, but you can see the lip color. I basically just used my eyebrow pencil to line my lips, and then I used Velvet Teddy by MAC. Then I used a House of Tara lip gloss. Anywho, thank you so much for watching my very first Get Ready With Me. Please don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if you want to see more of this. Share this video with all of your friends. Give this video one big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel please also turn on your notifications so you know every time that we post thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video